Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 8th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather outlook as well. Earthquakes and volcanoes, keeping humanity aware and prepared with the latest. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms. Looking at incoming imagery here. We did have that large plasma filament eruption, coronal mass ejection yesterday. Looking in the outgoing position, a couple pretty active sunspots and as well plasma ropes extending from the surface. But that was a very large plasma event yesterday. As well, we had another one just today. Active sunspot regions in the north. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see in the southern hemisphere, that dark green region, we do have quite a big coronal hole developing right now. Looking at 171 angstroms here, at all of the latest sun events, the last 48 hours, pretty deep coronal hole right here. Looking at LASCO 2 from today's event, as there was a C-class solar flare shot away from our sun. This is the last six hours of imagery. It was not in an earth-facing direction. Looking at LASCO 2 from February 7th until now, as we've seen a pretty active sun, solar flares, CMEs, and now a deepening coronal hole. Amazing imagery coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking at our solar X-ray flux, as you can see, we had a C-class flare just recently. Proton flux is low and geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 420 kilometers per second. Still coming down a little bit, possibly ahead of our space weather event coming in on the 9th to the 10th. From that large eruption, coronal mass ejection right at Venus and Earth. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral here. As well, the NOAA space prediction showing pretty much the same thing, but as well showing that most recent solar flare incoming. Schumann resonance for today is a power of six, still a pretty low, healthy power. Quality of 8.1, amplitude of six for our Schumann resonance. Now let's have a look at earthquakes here the past 24 hours as it's been pretty busy. About 250 earthquakes, according to USGS, across 24 hours. Largest being this 6.2 in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge at a 10-kilometer depth right on the Atlantic Plate. As well, pretty sizable activity, South Sandwich Islands, 5.1 east of the islands, and as well a 5.0 reported south of Africa. So the Atlantic Plate definitely seeing some stress down into Antarctica, 4.5 here at Total, Chile, 38 kilometer depth. South America, pretty quiet though for South America. Only one earthquake the past 24 hours. Minor activity continues, Puerto Rico, quiet Dominican Republic and west of Haiti. Minor activity, Oklahoma, 2.5 and as well, Coyonosa, Texas, 2.8. 2.8 here up in Wyoming, Mammoth, Wyoming, at a three kilometer depth as well 2.5 there idaho as well 2.9 utah and minor activity along the california coastline nothing major to report though across the united states no major swarms to talk about Overlooking Alaska, minor activity continues. 
largest being the 4.1 Petersville, Alaska, and that was yesterday. 3.9 there, Kodiak. 5.1 just recently in Krasnogorsk, Russia. As well, 4.9 there in South Kamchatka. 5.5 here in Naha, Japan, the South Japan Islands. As well, seeing some pretty sizable aftershocks through the region, south and in the epicenter. 4.5 there, Bonin Islands, 5.2, that was yesterday. No deep earthquakes to report. Tonga region, only reporting a 5.2 shallow. And pretty quiet across the plate, Eurasia. 4.2 earthquake, North Pole. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. As we all need to stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Much love to all of you, and I appreciate you joining this journey with daily events worldwide. Don't forget to smash the like button. Hit your notification bell so you don't miss an update. A lot of deep earthquakes. Tonga recently... but pretty quiet for the past 24 hours. Still keeping an eye on the North American plate. And as well, now with this most recent activity through the Atlantic and into the South Sandwich Islands. The North Pole seeing a 4.2 earthquake. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes. Looking at Simaru in Indonesia. Langila, Papua New Guinea, that is another newly awakened volcano. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report coming soon. Sabincaya in Peru. Sangay in Ecuador. Fuego in Guatemala. Pretty sizable eruptions there as well. Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. And looks like, what, Red Reventador, Ecuador, is the last volcano to update today through Pacific Disaster Center. So updating six volcanoes today. Overlooking a satellite imagery across the world. Still pretty hefty snow system heading across eastern Canada. As well, tropical system heading through New Caledonia. Big Pacific low, northern Pacific low that will be heading into Alaska in the long-range forecast. Tropical cyclone Batsurai is still alive and heading southward towards Antarctica. Possible tropical system growing in behind that through the Indian Ocean. As well, watching some pretty heavy snows move into parts of Turkey this week. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, eastern Canada. Watching this Alberta clipper come in for Friday. But another clipper just grazing us with some flurries. And the second clipper will bring some mixed precipitation. Also got a winter storm warning here for Newfoundland, Atlantic provinces. Tonight into tomorrow, we'll be leaving by Friday. Across western Canada and the United States, pretty dry and as well warm. Big Chinook winds heading up into Alberta, keeping the temperature well above freezing and seasonal. And very dry across the U.S. west coast. Strong high pressure ridge has been, been pretty dominant recently thwarting all of these systems northward into Alaska. But the moisture is being stretched from the equator, hence the Chinook winds and as well mixed precipitation through Ontario, overlooking the Atlantic. Interesting low here, lower level low that will be moving into the Dominican long range forecast. Could be something to watch. Overlooking Europe, Still have a winter storm affecting most of eastern parts and northern Europe. Rain system heading into the United Kingdom Friday to Saturday. And it will be a rain event. Overlooking Asia, Russia, strong high pressure ridge over Russia. 
Big low coming out of China this week, bringing a lot of rain across China into Hong Kong and northward into southern parts of Japan. Watching a pretty big system funnel out of Japan this week right here. West Pacific will be brewing up a pretty big system. Overlooking Malaysia, Indonesia. Daily evaporation rains heavy at times through the Philippines. Could be a low developing there. Overlooking Australia. Dry across most of east and central. Waves of moisture heading into parts of the continent western and as well northern territory. And this big system is going to be heading straight south into New Zealand, bringing along an atmospheric river of moisture to parts of Auckland. So watch for heavy rains and possible strong winds once that low gets to you. Overlooking Hawaiian Islands, no major weather systems heading to you this week. Overlooking South America, pretty heavy rains and snow are expected through the Chile-Argentina border. Other than that, no major weather systems. Overlooking Africa, still remnants of a tropical storm Anna right here, the low western parts, South Africa. And then, yeah, watching Batsurai quickly scoot into the Antarctic. Could see the development of two more cyclones in the long-range forecast heading through the Indian Ocean. And that is your five-day forecast. We're going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major lows that are spinning across our planet. Thanks again for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. And always be prepared. Get a go bag ready and check in with daily events worldwide. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.